Well, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? I'm trying, I'm a little bit late. I was trying to get on here by one o'clock. Actually, I was trying to get on here by 12 o'clock, but my day is running way, way faster <laughs> than I had hoped it would. So I've just got so much to do, probably like the rest of you guys. Um, let me get my computer going. Hold on one sec. I don't know why it's not getting in the right spot. There we go. Okay, looks like I'm a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can fix this. All right. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. You're probably out Christmas shopping and not watching videos right now. Probably like most people. Um, I had to go out this morning to uh, right across the street from the mall. And I'm telling you, the, the cars were everywhere. It was so much traffic going on. Um... It took me forever to get home. So I'm glad I'm not one of those people out shopping. I did most of my shopping on Amazon, so I didn't have to leave the house. And uh, I guess evidently most other people did that too because um, the mail and everywhere is so backed up. Um, everything that I ordered that's coming through the mail is taking an extra week. So um, if you are getting a catalog from me, I hope you will get it before the end of the year. But they were shipped out already, I think about a week or two ago, and um, I think they're just sitting at the post office. So anyway, I wanted to come and show you this um, beautiful card that I made the other day. It's using the new Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set from Stampin' Up, and it is probably my all-time favorite stamp set. Anything with shells or the beach is always my favorite thing, or flowers. I love flowers too, but... The shells are definitely one of my favorites because I live so close to the beach and actually I'm heading out tomorrow to go to the Outer Banks. If any of you guys know where that is, it's in North Carolina. It's um, where all the hurricanes hit when they hit the East Coast um, in North Carolina. And my sister lives there, so I'm going to be spending Christmas with my sister and her family. So I just cannot wait and I'm hoping the weather's going to be nice. So anyway, let's get started, and I want to show you how to make this beautiful card. I'll show you a close-up of it so you can see. I used a shimmery white cardstock, so you can kind of see a shimmer on there, I hope. But I'm going to show you how I did it. Here's what you're going to need. A piece of 8.5 by 5.5 Seaside Spray, folded in half. And then a piece of shimmery white, 5.25 by 4. And then this is a piece of shimmery white, five and a half by four and a half. I've already die cut it and embossed it. So those are the three things you're gonna need. Plus, you need the seashells 3D embossing folder, which looks like this. I think it's prettier in real life than it is on this picture. It's actually like sideways on here, so it goes like that. So that's the embossing folder we're gonna be using. And then this is the die cut. So it cuts it and embosses it. And it's one piece, which is really, really cool. So it, it matches up with the die cut. And then you also need the Friends, like, Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. And I'm using the High Tide stamp set. So the High Tide is for the sand and the water. And then the rest is um, Friends, like, Friends Are Like Seashells. So those are the products that you need. And those are all in the new Spring Mini that's coming out. I know it's not called Spring Mini anymore. It's called January to June Mini or something like that. Um, but I just call it Spring Mini because that's what it's usually been, or Occasions Mini. Um, anyway, let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is use the shimmery white piece. And we're going to start with the sand. And we're going to be using Crumb Cake. And I just re-inked this, so I hope it's not too dark. We'll see in a second. <laughs> it was just getting too pale. It does look kind of dark, but that's okay. Let me see. No, it's not too bad. All right, so what you're going to do is just start at the bottom and just kind of stamp all over. It's a little, it is a little bit dark, but that's all right. And you're just kind of stamping all over to give it that sand effect. Gonna do it a little bit more. So you want to do about maybe an inch, inch and a quarter from the bottom. And then have you guys seen these new brushes that we have from Stampin' Up? They are awesome. I just love them. 
Now I had this kind before, which is something I got on Amazon. It's smaller. They do have bigger ones, but they're kind of similar, but the ones from Stampin' Up are so much better. Um, I only have three of them right now, so I had to use one of my old ones too. So I've got crumb cake on this one. So what you do is just dab it in the ink pad and then just blend it. So it's just like a sponge and it's just gonna blend some more color on there. I don't want it too dark, but I wish I probably should have waited to do my, uh, re-ink my stamp pad, my ink pad, but that's okay. All right, so it kind of is looking like some sand here. All right, so then we wanna get the ocean on top of that. So I'm gonna use Seaside Spray. And this is the water stamp from that set, the High Tide set. So I'm gonna stamp it once right here right above that sand and then kind of go again without inking it up and then ink it up and do one more time. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a lighter look right there in the middle. And then I'm gonna take this one, which has the blue on it, and you can kind of use different colors of blue. So I've used about four different colors of blue on it and it pretty much cleans up easy like your blender pen. You just kind of wipe it, but I wouldn't switch colors like from blue to purple or something. So. I'll have one for blues, one for purples, one for greens, but I can't, I have to wait till January 5th to order some more. All right, so you're gonna put a little bit of the blue on here. And then also, I'm gonna go right up to the sky. So I wanna get some of the sky blue here too. And it's very subtle. It's not like when you have the sponges and you get a big glop on here. I like that a lot better. It's very subtle. So we've got all of this looking blue. And normally I'm so used to doing my sponges around, but I think it does work better if you go back and forth. I just wanna tap off so I don't get any blobs. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I've got the, the sand, the ocean, and the sky and we're all set with that. Then I wanna do the words. So I've got the words I'm using are happy birthday to my beautiful friend, which is really nice. And I'm gonna be doing that in Smoky Slate. Oops, wrong stamp. All right, so we're gonna stamp that up or ink it up with the smoky slate and just do that kind of over to the left. That looks so good. All right, I'm gonna leave that open because I'm gonna use it in a minute. And then um, I'm gonna do the birds and the birds I'm doing in Memento Black. And these are, oh, these are the birds from High Tide too. I forgot to say that. And we're just gonna do some over here Make sure you don't get them upside down. And then I'm gonna do a few more over here, like so. All right, so that's the background part of it, which is the hardest, well, not the hardest part, but you know, <laughs> doing the shells is probably the hardest part. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. Oh, I wanted to leave that open. All right, so that's the background, so you're done with that piece. So now, for the shells, what I did was I cut it out first and you can do it either way. You can do the cutting first and then the embossing or the embossing then cutting. Um, I think it's easier to cut it than emboss it. I think it, it's easier to match it up to the um, embossing folder. So that's what I did first. And then I'm gonna stamp on it. And you might think, oh, you're gonna stamp and it's already embossed, isn't that gonna be hard? No, it's pretty easy actually. And I found that I liked it better than doing it while it was flat. I, I think I could match it up easier. So here's what you do. It's hard to do it unless you have it right underneath you though. So let me try. Oh, hey Carol, how are you? All right, so I'm gonna probably pull it down just a little bit so you might not be able to see, but I'm lining it up as close as I can see right over top. And then just press it down, give it a good press. That's the key, just give it a good press. And then see, it comes out for really pretty good. 
All right, so that's it for the blue. And then, let's see, I wanna do the pink next. All right, so we're gonna do, I don't know what these shells are called. I know that's a conch shell, but I don't know what this one is. It's like the little snails are in here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna line this one up. And if, if it's out of the picture, I'm sorry, I gotta put it closer to me so I can see. All right, give it a good press. And there you go. Oh, I missed a little spot, but that's okay. It's gonna be hidden anyway. All right, so that's it for, that was Blushing Bride. Then I've got the smaller conch shell, that's Sahara Sand, and I'm gonna stamp off because this is too dark, I just re-inked it. So just stamp it off a little bit and then go right over top. Give it a good press. There you go. It's really hard to mess these up because you're fussy cutting them. So you can kind of cut around if you mess up a little bit. All right, let's move to Smoky Slate, which I think that's that one. And I'm doing the two smaller ones in Smoky Slate. And this one's harder to line up. All right, there you go. And smaller one also in Smoky Slate. And I think I'm gonna stamp this one off so it'll be a little bit lighter. Okay, so there you go, you got everything stamped. And we're done stamping. Now all you have to do is cut it out. And I did do this ahead of time so that it wouldn't take so long, but I do wanna show you a couple tricks. So it does have it almost exactly perfect on here, but see how mine's just a teeny bit off. So what I do is I just cut closer to it. So you really can't mess up. I mean, unless you're like way, way off, nobody's gonna know since you're fussy cutting it anyway. And then just do it so you've got that thin little white area next to it. And then just go all the way around to cut it out. And you wanna save some of these pieces. Some of the, the pieces are just too small, so I throw them away. But some of the um, seaweed things you wanna save. And what I did for this one is I cut off three of these. And just went like that because I wanted it smaller than it was. So I just made it smaller. So I just took it, so it was like that. And I just took off three little sections of it to make it smaller. Um, and what I'm gonna save is this piece over here. The one right above the smaller shell is the one that I wanna keep. So this part right here is the one that I'll be using for my seaweed part. And then I'm gonna cut these out and by the magic of TV, we're gonna have them already done for you. So here we go. I've already got that one done. So here's the blue one and that one and the two smaller ones. So we've got them all cut out and now I wanna sponge the seaweed part. So this is mint macaron. I'm sorry, this is not the Stampin' Up one. I didn't have an extra one that was green. And I'm just gonna sponge this in the green. And this gives it a really pretty color. I love this mint macaron for the seaweed. I love kind of the subtle pastel-y colors for these shells. All right, so there you go. There's all the pieces that we need. Now we're gonna put it together. Oh, hey Debbie, how are you? Yes, the dies are with it. So um, I just showed those a minute ago. Yeah, this comes as, I already cut it up, but it's got the, um, this is the die cutting for it. So it pretty much does it for you. You just have to like snip around it. But it embosses and cuts it out. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. And I'm gonna kind of place them where I want them to be. I wanna trim this a little bit too. Like there's too much white showing right here, so I'm gonna trim it just a little bit more. So are you guys all done Christmas shopping? So you got time to watch me today? <laughs> all right, so I did mess up right there, so I'm just gonna cover that with this shell. So I want that to go there. And then I'm gonna put these down here. 
So this one is the one that I want to glue down first. So let me get my glue. Just put some on there. I'm just going to put it right down at the bottom next to these two shells. And while it's still got a little bit of wiggle room, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one and stick it behind it. So this is the seaweed. Oops. You don't want to put too much because it'll ooze out, but just get a little bit on there. Oops. I see one little piece that didn't pop out. Ah! Okay. All right, so you're just going to kind of tuck this behind Oops. this shell. And then just kind of give that a little press. And then these other two little ones, where'd they go? Uh-oh. I lost two of the shells. Oh, here they are. <laughs> they're right in front of me. <laughs> do you guys do that? You look for your glasses and they're on your head and you look for the shells and they're right in front of you. All right, so we're gonna put this one upside down right in the corner. And then the other one I'm gonna put right next to it. Oops, stuck to my finger. Did I put glue? Oh. I didn't put glue on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is called, Lisa has too much to do and not enough brain cells to do it all. <laughs> all right, the other ones we're gonna put on with dimensionals. So let me get some dimensionals. I can find them here. In my pile of junk. Okay, here we go. I hope you guys are having a great day and hopefully it's nice weather. It's really beautiful here. It's, it's a little bit chilly, but it's beautiful. At least it's not raining. And we don't have snow here, which is great. Oops. All right, so we're gonna put this kind of upside down over that. And then this one is gonna go right on top, like so, this way. And there we go. So we're almost done. Now, one thing I also did is I kind of cut this down a little bit and I stuck it behind it like that. So it kind of looks like there's another one behind it. You can do that if you want to, or you could leave it off. I mean, it looks fine either way, but um, on another card that I did, I'd stuck that extra piece because I didn't want to waste it. So I kind of just stuck it behind it. So if you don't want to throw it away, you can put it behind it or do another card and use it for the background. All right, so now we're gonna put that on our base and we'll be done. So let's just glue it down. I love this color, the seaside spray is so pretty. Just hold it down for just a minute and there you go. So that's the finished card. So what do you guys think? Thank you. Yeah, great idea using that extra piece. I know I hate to waste it because it's pretty. So you could just stick it behind something, you know, and make it look like another one. Um, but I just thought this was a gorgeous card and I did it with a few of my friends the other day and they liked it too. So I wanted to show you guys before Christmas because when I leave um, to go out of town, I'm not going to have a way to do videos. So I'm trying to get a couple videos done before I go. So if you liked the products that I have, you can't order them yet. You can only, uh, you have to wait till January 5th. But if you want to order anything else, there's a big sale going on with Stampin' Up. Just go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. And if you are watching this, please give me a like. Thank you, Carol. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please also give me a like and comment. I love to get comments and I will re reply back to you. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You just click the little um, subscribe button and then hit the bell to get notified when I do more videos, which I think will probably be tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I'll get another one done tomorrow. And that one will have the Dragonfly stamp set, which is also a new one. So thank you guys for joining me today. I would love to have you order from me if you don't already have a demonstrator. Just go to stampingwithlisa.com, click on the shopping button. You guys have an awesome rest of your day and thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.